The purpose of this video is to talk to you about specifics related to a 3D printer. Although you might be learning about 3D printing, you may not have direct access to a 3D printer either at home or in your academic environment. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the MakerBot Replicator Plus as my teaching instrument. The resource that you are using may not have all of the same features that this resource does, but in this video, I'm going to focus specifically on that machine. Filament is the plastic string that is designed to be melted in order to construct a 3D model. For this specific print, we are using PLA. This area right here is known as the print bed. It elevates or lowers as needed in order for the PLA to be deposited into the model. For this print bed, we have some painter's tape. And the reason why I use the painter's tape is that I don't want the model to add here or stick to the print bed too effectively. Then it becomes cumbersome to remove. So for each of my prints, I always put down three pieces or four pieces, depending on the size of painter's tape. It just makes it really simple, smooth, and easy for me to remove the model when I am finished. This item right here that is moving is classified as the extruder. The extruder's job is to heat the filament so that it can come through the nozzle. This little bit over here is classified as the nozzle. And as the filament escapes or is pushed out of the nozzle, it is deposited in exactly the right location based on the specifications of the model. This model is a flexible gecko. It has been modified from its original state. I downloaded this model and then made modifications. At the time that I downloaded it, the model clearly stated that I had permission to make modifications to the original model. And so this model is being constructed microscopic layer after microscopic layer after microscopic layer. And you'll notice how the extruder moves left and right and forward and back based on this arm. I'll classify it as an arm. And those two instruments moving in tandem tell the extruder where exactly to position itself so that the filament can be deposited in just the right area. Uh, a model of this nature usually takes about two hours hours to print, approximately one hour and 56 minutes, uh, give or take a little bit. Anytime you have an estimate on a model, just be flexible. Understand that it may take longer than that, or it may take less time than that. That's just an estimate. It is strongly recommended that you monitor your print. In the event something goes sour, I recommend that you abort or stop your print as quickly as possible. Number one, it's going to save you time and money. In order to reprint that print, it's smart to start reprinting as soon as possible to save yourself some time. You save money because you're not wasting filament by throwing a failed project away. And if the project goes so sour that you have a mass of entangled filament, it could require quite some time in order to fix that mess. So again, I recommend that you monitor your print. Patience is one characteristic that is quite vital when it comes to engineering and design. If your model is not constructed exactly the way that you wanted it to be constructed on the very first print, uh, it is wise to give yourself that flexibility to say, okay, well, now I can see what I got right, and now I can see what needs to be perfected. And then you can go back to the drawing board, as we say. You could head back to that 3D design software to make those adjustments. Here we are at the end of a print. I'm going to lift the print bed off of the machine so that I can pull the model off of the print bed. After I've had a chance to remove the print bed, I'm going to lift the tape on the edge. After I lift the tape on the edge, it's going to remove the print and the raft. The raft is the protective throwaway layer underneath the 3D print model. So if anything sticks to the print bed, 
If there's any cracking, uh, we would hope that that would occur here in the raft. Again, the raft is a throwaway layer. It's not something that you keep. Some people will actually design or make or purchase a machine that will grind the excess filament down into scraps, and then they'll melt it into usable filament. That's not something that we have access to at this time, so I just store those rafts. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to recycle them later. I'm not able to recycle them just yet. The next step after I've had a chance to lift that tape and I've removed the model from the print bed is that I'm actually going to remove the 3D model from the raft. And so there's um, a snapping or a cracking sound that takes place when I'm removing those two. As long as the print has printed successfully, it should remove from the raft quite easily. On rare occasions, the model will actually stick to the raft. In a situation like that, you may need to use a file in order to file down any areas that are rough or unfriendly to touch. I find that when it gets colder in my printing environment, that I can have some warping or some lifting, and that interferes with the print's ability to break away from the raft. So here you see the raft. It's just a throwaway piece. It's unnecessary. I don't need to hold on to it. I don't need to keep it. It's just a little bit bigger or larger than the original model. Here in this model, there's a little bit of stringing that has occurred, and I can just easily go in and uh, break those thin strings away. It doesn't mean that my model has failed. If that continues significantly, you may want to look at some of the print specifications that you have in your model to see if you can perfect that by making some internal adjustments. Either the temperature of the filament or whether or not retraction is needed. We're not going to cover that in this level of 3D design, but there are some software adjustments that I can make in my slicing software in order to perfect the beauty of the overall design. But I would say overall, this is a successful print. Thank you so much for joining me for today's training and have a great day.